Uh, my name is Heather Wilson, I play Dion and we are in the park in Wokingham where we filmed one of the scenes. One by One is about uh, Dion's journey really into um, discovering the, the, the larger social things that are happening right now, um, how they have affected her and how they affect the individual. Uh, it's about her discovering that. Um, she's with a supportive group of people who open her eyes to understand that actually it's not perhaps as black and white um, as she first thought and that it is totally grey. And they allow her, they sort of open the door for her to go and discover the rest and to discover new truths for herself, I think. Uh, I became involved with the film through Diane, um, who is the writer and director, amongst many other things. And I've known Diane since I was about 14, um, went to the same school together. Uh, then we lost contact for a number of years and uh, reintroduced ourselves to each other through a Shakespeare play where I played Paulina for her. And, and she asked and I said yes. The average day on the set of a film where you're, you're limited to 25 days to get it all together. Uh, they're long, long days and some of them started at an ungodly hour for an actor who normally wouldn't get out of bed until about midday at a push. Um, and then to do sometimes a 14 hour day is, is just extremely intense. Uh, but we did, we created our our world and our bubble and we all just lived in it for 25 days We just got on and did it. I think it is genuinely hard to pick one particular moment. There were some hysterical, pant-wettingly funny moments. Um, equally, I think one of the most poignant moments for me was when we were recording um, a scene in the cafe and somebody came in and said that we had to put the television on, uh, we had to put the news on and something well, it was the riots in 20, 2011, um, civil unrest, all of the things that we'd literally just been discussing in our scene was happening on television and there was a moment of, well, we've been filming for 10 hours, so is this real or is it not? Um, and quite terrifying, actually, to, to witness it, to witness it happening right in front of you. Uh, working with Rick, is just the absolute highlight of my life so far, undeniably. Uh, I was getting my makeup done. I knew he was going to be arriving to set at any moment, so I was sat very clenched, buttocked, and just worrying about everything and just desperately trying to suppress all of the lines of the things that I've seen and grown up with him saying, just saying, don't say that, don't say that, for God's sake, Heather, don't say that. When he turns up, don't say that. So I had all of that going through my head and this man came over and was just really soft-spoken and lovely and just said, hello, I'm Rick, would it be all right to go through some lines and, and rehearse a little bit when, you, when you've got your makeup done? And I just went, mm -hmm. And that was all I could do. That was all I could manage. Um, he's just... I think quite unexpectedly calm and gentle person and yeah I think there were some there were some private moments that I'm I won't be sharing with you just little things that he said when we'd go off to go for a little wander and go through our lines and things together um, but I think one of my favorite highlights was just out of the corner of your eye before you're about to do your shoot He's just, he's just pulling a few strands of hair, just correcting his hair, and then he'll just lean in just before and go, does my hair look all right? And I just, it was just so unexpected. I didn't think somebody like Rick Mayle would, would be like that. So I don't know, just not, not what I expected at all. Um, and then in the, same, in the same breath is hysterically funny. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely man. What did I like most about playing Dion? She is probably, I, I couldn't have picked a more opposite person to who I am. Um, she's quite a passive person, I think, at the beginning of, of her journey. 
and as I said before, there, there's a lot of black and white in Dion's life and, you know, she goes to work and she's got her steady boyfriend and she accepts and she just thinks that that is the way her life needs to be, needs to be led. And she's a good person. Uh, she's lucky enough to come across a group of people who just gently open her eyes to certain things that they're more experienced in and, you know, Dion has her opinions, she has her truths and they allow her to go on her own journey, her own discovery and her own time. And I think her story truly begins right at the very end of the film. To cry on demand, I think I've always, to, as an actor, to have your emotions at the surface all the time, is probably the most draining part of any job that I've ever done. Um, and to cry on demand, I think of something extraordinarily sad, just heartbreakingly helpless and sad. And that's enough, usually. <laughs> uh, the future of the film, I think, originally, I just hoped that it could go out to audiences, to go out to theatres for people to see it and the follow-on from that would be that if one person takes something from the film and is able to, uh, you know, do their own research and it, it does have the capacity to, to, change, to change people's opinions, I think. Now, having lost Rick, I think it was something that he was very passionate about, very clearly passionate about, um, a complete change of direction for him as an actor. Um, and I think it's important now that, even more so, that, that it, uh, now that we don't have him anymore, that it goes out to the audiences to be shown for that reason. People should come and see One by One because it is, I, I believe that it's something that, that doesn't really exist at the moment, this this particular in a, in this particular genre, we have a lot of documentaries and um, investigative reporting style films around the subjects that we touch on. But um, I don't know that there are that many dramas um, that cover the subjects that we do. And I think the support of everybody so far has just been unbelievable. Uh, and I think this is proof that just one person can start this ripple effect and, and it, could reach, it could reach so many people. It feels very surreal, the whole thing, the whole thing from beginning to end actually has been a very, very surreal experience. Um, to get to say that I'm a leading lady in a feature film with Rick Mayle, my hero, I never even saw it coming never saw that coming and then for it to go as far as going out into public screenings is just phenomenal i don't know i don't know what else could top it really there are some rumors going around everyone would love to see your best rick face <laughs> so uh, please give me your best rick face ooh. 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 yeah we're not putting that in <laughs> <laughs> oh, <please. laughs>